sent to the public this may be a chair uh, dam set up so let's see the components used in this thing so over here we have the brain of the project or we can even call it the motherboard which is the arduino you know and this board here is a step down transformer board which uh, just reduces the current so that it could be digested by the arduino this is the lcd over here which displays everything And here we have the pump which triggers automatically when the level is on the third level. And this is the motor controller board. And this is our LoRa. So we can here see the manual control and the main power supply of the project. And this is the receiver uh, setup which is placed in a public area. This has a Dino LoRa and LCD. Let's see the demonstration of this project. So this is the whole dam setup. So here we have some water which I am going to pour uh, in the dam, and uh, here is a small bucket to capture uh, water which is ejected by the dam. And uh, let's turn on our receiving device. It's powered up, and let's start pouring some water. So as you can see over here, it's printing level one. As I have poured water till level one. So now we will pour more water in it to make it go up to level two. We need some more water. And as you can see, it's in level two. And let's turn on the device. So as you can see, it's now printing level two. And you might hear you might hear the buzzer which is ringing, which would alert the government official to turn off. I mean, open the dam. And this is for the public, in which it says water released, plan accordingly. So now I am pouring more water to simulate the rain, which is pouring more, and even the government official failing to turn on manual control. So here goes level three. As you can see, the water is coming out, and it will print level three over here. Hope it is automatically being ejected to level two. Uh, printing level three over here, and it's even showing the message over here. So in the beginning of the speech, 
I told you that the cellular network was not available in the time of 2015 when the dam was opened. So to solve this problem, we have implemented LoRa, which stands for Long Range Communication, in our project. It's 10 kilometers of range. It can receive the signal still 10 kilometers. So we are living here in the fourth floor. So I will go go down and show you that it actually works. So as you can see, as you can see, we are living in the fourth floor, and now I am going to go down. So now, as you can see, I am downstairs with my project. So, ah, turn on the water. So can you hear? It's making a sound. If I keep printing the same message in the screen, I think you might see it now. So this is my whole coding. my project. So now let's see the conclusion of this project. This project implemented in the dam can share many lives, their belongings and their properties. So the, the reason that the 2015 flood was this much terrible was that the government officials could not, uh, could not message the inform the public because of the failure of network. And my project even solves that problem with the LoRa. So, I hope I get selected for this project. Thank you CBSC, MBM Mangaru, my mentors and the principal. Thank you.